So we've left the canary room, we're in the kitchen. Many canary fanciers will be found in the kitchen, stealing various different utensils from their other halves. The first one, the mixing bowl. It's a massive mixing bowl. You can see we've already got a preparatory egg mix in here. It's a dry mix. And I use a blend of three different mixes. I use King's, CD, and Deli Nature as my dry mix. So I use a slightly different recipe to many fanciers. And of course, Dracula's favorite this time of year, garlic. I don't give this during the season, but I will give it in the run up to the season. And I'll do that for two reasons. One, the garlic helps clean the birds out, it helps with the gut. And two, for me, garlic in the birds keeps the mite away. And that's really, really important. The first ingredient to go in is carrot. We're not gonna peel the carrot, but we are gonna wash it and we're gonna take both the ends off. <clears throat> both ends off. Quick cut. Really, really straightforward. Next, talked about it earlier, garlic. I'm just gonna whiz the end off. That goes in two. We've got kiwi, fantastic source of vitamin C. So I'm not gonna peel the kiwi, but I am gonna take the ends off and I'm gonna cut it into quarters and they go in. Apple next, just a tiny little apple. I don't like putting the, uh, the core in. Um, I think the core's bitter, so I'm gonna cut it round like that. And it might seem an awful lot of faff in this, um, but I tell you, the birds will love it. Final ingredient <coughs> is kale. Um, super food, um, I'm gonna get a handful of kale, and I'm going to squeeze that into the top. I put a little bit more in for good measure. Um, the birds love kale, absolutely love kale. Um, what I will do in the winter months is I'll put a big handful in, but even though it doesn't need washing, I'll wash it and they'll bathe in it as well as eat it. So, all we do now, pop the lid on. Okay, we're done. So, we have a look at that. I'm smelling garlic, I'm smelling apple, I'm smelling kiwi. It smells foul, but the birds will love it. We'll spoon this into our dry mix. And basically, we'll get our hands in. You don't want this mixture to be too wet. It's starting to work in now. That's almost perfect. We'll leave it to stand for a couple of minutes. So the egg food's made now, we'll go and feed it to the birds and watch them devour it. So coming up on today's show, we meet the boys in the room cock fife birds that will breed for the rest of the season. There's 12 birds in all that we'll see, so sit back and enjoy them. You'll also see on the show how we make the egg food together, and that we use in the run up to the breeding season to bring the birds into condition, and then we'll feed it throughout the season when they've got young in the nest. One of the birds we're going to see today is a heavily variegated buff cock. It's a lovely little bird. It did well on the show bench.